Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lachi and in today's video, I guess I'm gonna be showing you like my favorite products, what I recommend you buy, what I recommend you steal from Mecca and Sephora and stuff. So, oh, this is not from Mecca or Sephora and stuff. This is from like a $2 shop, but it's like one of those like TikTok e-boy, like they put this on and then they're like, ooh, look at me. Anyway, not the point. Gets my hair off of my face, apparently not very well. The anti, taking the glasses off, undoing the hair and you're beautiful, sort of in the mind. Why is this not working? Oh my God. If they sponsored me, maybe it would work. Let's put on this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And I'm also going to try out a new thing of like, doing what Tati does, of like showing you the product all up close and all that sort of stuff. Um, if I can be bothered, which I can be bothered. I really can be bothered. Uh, things annoy me greatly. Next up, I am going to be getting this Fourth Ray Beauty, this is how much I've used it. You can't even tell what it says. I've got another one where you can tell what it says. I'm pretty sure it's just like a color corrector, which if you didn't know what that was, could be offensive, could be offensive. But basically it gets rid of the redness on your face. I'm colorblind, so this could be green for all I know. Like I have no idea. Next up we have Animal Abuse, Drunk Elephant. And I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand because I'm very important. And I'm going to put that on my skin as well. At this point, it's sort of like, are we doubling up on things? Probably, but marketing works. And I feel the need to, this is not even everything that I own or use. This is just like a miscellaneous bunch that I grabbed. Last but not least, my best friend, my best friend who is definitely real, told me that they use this as a primer. So I'm gonna try it out as well. This is the Glow Recipe Plump, Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream, which I got in the, um, not Monique, Michaela Glow Recipe, little like collab sort of moment they did, you know, Miss 519. I'm going to be putting on this sort of like urine color spray, which I won't be buying again. Unfortunately, it doesn't smell like urine, um, that could be something I would like change. Hold 10 to 12 inches away from the face. So it's like that. God, the hardest part about being an influencer is making sure everything's in frame. Also the fact that you're unemployed. Anyways, so see my skin's quite glowy, but it was really glowy before. It's like soaked in and sucked it all up. I look incredible. I really do want to put more on. Hee <laughs> hee, naughty word. But I know if I do any more, I get all sweaty and then I look disgusting. So if anyone knows how to stop sweating, let me know in the comments below. Swimming doesn't count because even though you're in the water, you do actually sweat. You just don't notice the sweat. Same also applies to peeing. I don't really know much about skincare, so that's why I'm not like, do a serum and then hydration and then shit yourselves. I'm watching the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix series. Wow, that was a juxtaposition. But what powder I'm putting on at the moment is the Revlon Age Defying one. And you know what? You can never be too young for age rewinding stuff. You can never be too young. That's actually how they do abortions. They just give you like anti-aging cream when you're a fetus and you just... <laughs> really do want to try the kimchi powder because kimchi is a drag queen, so I know the powder will be good for drag, you know? This is our gloss. I'm just gonna be very careful with this. <laughs> I have a unibrow. I need to wet this beauty blender, and so I'm going to use my expensive water machine. Oh! Jeffrey Dahmer documentary series started randomly. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go over it with this foundation because I know this foundation is really thick. So this is the Smashbox foundation. I do really like this one. It's just so pale that I can't really use it. So next up we are using the Kat Von D Sorry, oh my God. <gasps> the KVD Locket foundation. So my number one foundation still is this Superstay Maybelline one. I might mix a little bit of that as well. Trix Mattel uses this. It's a bit more olive, not olive, expensive thing. Gold, undertoned, all the buzzwords. Oh, stop it! You didn't just murder them. Oh, oh, you're scaring me. You are, I literally, no one is touching this. Jeffrey? 
I think a combination of those two foundations is best. Next up we have Colourpop's Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit on. We don't really need a lot of it today. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand um, because I'm really insecure about the skin texture on my hand. Um, and I'm gonna blend that out on my hand. And while I'm doing that, I might as well blend my face. See, look how beautifully that blended. It's just, just beautiful. Sorry, Ben Shapiro just texted me saying that he wants to hang out tonight. Next up, I have this Morphe. Hi. Um, also known as Morph. Okay, that's not how you, it's not, not known as that. This is the Provocative Petal. Speaking of provocative petals, I'm sick of the trees that smell like juice um, that is plaguing Melbourne. That is my job. I'm meant to smell like that. I don't want any competition, okay? Wet at Wellington needs to keep the smells inside. Anyway, so this is a blush balm that is really, really nice. I'm going to put that here as well. All right, that actually looks really nice. Wow, the makeup's not bad too. Actually, I'm going to get this illuminator and put it here. It is incredible. This Tom Ford, this is the second one of this I have. The first one my friend gave me and the illuminator was all gone because they loved it so much. Shout out to you, Belle. And then I used the contour for so long. It is be such a beautiful product. I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I feel like at this stage of my life, um, I'm about to graduate uni and I'm not too sure what I'm going to do because I don't want to have a nine to five job that also like I've made no money doing the whole influencer thing at the moment. So I'm really panicking about my future. But the Tom Ford contour is really nice. So that's... I like to get this Mac. It's called Mac, but it more so looks like Windows. Um, and then I am going to slay the house down Mama Boots and blend that out. Actually, I have a new bronzer, not bronzer, contour that I'm going to try. This is the NARS um, Laganja in shade 4. It is a bronzer, but it's a cream bronzer. And I got a little tester in the mail from Mecca. Um, I'm just kidding. I went to the Mecca store and I think this might be really dark. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's see what this looks like. The lady said that men shouldn't wear makeup, but also that a little bit goes a long way. So it was kind of mixed signals on what she was wanting me to do. I, anyway, I think this is more what I want. Oh, wow. That is really nice. So next up, I have the book, th volume three of this. Um, I had another one that I've used a lot, but it, I hit pan on a lot of things. This is the Kevin Aquan, uh, like sculpting face palette. Three different contours, three highlights, one blush and one bronzer. I don't even want to brush off the excess because I don't want to waste a single drop of powder. Can you tell how much I love this product? I love this nearly as much as I love myself. If I had to give a critique, it would be the highlight. How about that? <laughs> no, I know I don't have a love-hate relationship with this product, but it's Vacation Bahamas, Avani Greg Morphe. Really good. Like, I do like it. It's just taken a little bit of finessing to use, I think. I don't think you can use it on top of cream products. I think that might be where it goes downhill, but I, Really love a unblended contour sort of moment, you know, you know? My mom probably doesn't. I like to set everything with this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Light 20 Cool. So people would use this as a normal foundation. I use this to set the millions of products that is on my face already. Then for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using mainly the Vivian's Scepter palette. I have done a whole video showcasing 
every single eyeshadow plus a drag look. So I'm, I've already hit pan on this one. Next up we have P. Louise um, base that's in how much you know. zero. I enjoy the palette. I'm just going, I like to do highlight first. See, look how good that looks. That eyeshadow is so white that it makes the white base look um, like beige. Okay, now with a fluffy brush, I'm going to be getting the color Sky Dive. If you want to see eye swatches of all I'm the gonna colors, I'm going to go in with I have done that right. in that previous video. I'm going to dust off the excess, actually. This is a really, really good palette. I feel like the color, the, the makeup look I did for the palette didn't do it justice. I'm going in with this. Be perfect. It's the same... Uh, company carnival palette look at this this is amazing as well it is similar to the vivian's palette so i feel like you don't need to get one and the other but okay fine you need to get both you need to get both so i'm going in with the color blackberry which is actually not black this is the nikki tutorials palette i haven't really used the mattes that much to be completely honest with you clearly i like this color the most i've used this 40 times i'd say and it doesn't really look like it's anywhere close to finished now i'm just going to go over this with the white eyeshadow so next up we have this glitter glue by BYS. It's it's glitter glue like, but where it does shine is the BYS loose glitters. This was ten dollars for all these colors. Today I'll be mixing. I think this one I picked, this one and this pink finer glitter. I'm gonna do another round of setting spray. This is the best setting spray I've ever used. I have done multiple TikToks using it and my makeup stays exactly the same, exactly. So what I'm going to be doing now is highlight. So I'm going to be using the Danessa Myricks highlight palette. That's, see, isn't it nice? It's nice, it's so nice. And I'm also going to be using the Kevin Aquan highlight. So let's use this one again, we didn't really love before. And then let's use Beam bit more goldy. This black lipstick from Colourpop. Save for the eyes, I don't know. Bit under the eye. So apparently I like Colourpop a lot because I gave them basically rent money, but I like it because it's organized. It's this one. Okay, this one, this one, this one. I do wish because I am colorblind that it was a like one-to-one -one of this one goes exactly with this one, what's well, designed to, but I know people like the lip liners to be a little bit darker, stuff like that, um, but also trial and error, but seriously, it is, it's great. That's my one, one suggestion. I'm gonna be using Runaway Matte X22G2. God, it's like an Among Us room code. And I'm just gonna fix up the edges with, of course, the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. So my name is Lachi, and this has been like my favorite products, the products I'm using at the moment, what I recommend you buy, stuff like that. Everything will be linked below, no affiliate codes, or if anything changes with that, I'll let you know very clearly in the description. Don't worry about that. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube. Um, what else is there? That, that's about it. But seriously, thank you so much for watching. Um, this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray though. Lashes were just from AliExpress, like $20. Lashes, like just look up. This is what I got um, and they've lasted a long time. And yeah, so I'm gonna go host the gig, I guess. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. So bye.